stories for Friday we're going to be talking about. Number one is uh, down in South Florida. There are some thunderstorms happening around there. You're still seeing that for the last couple of days. We've seen it and probably into the weekend as well. But perfect fall weather really from the mid-Atlantic up into the northeast. Everyone's feeling A-OK -okay there. And as we head further out to the west, a few showers coming in in the northwestern states. Uh, otherwise, most of the nation fairly dry, so feeling pretty good uh, with the top weather stories. Highlights for Friday. Again, we talked about some of the showery areas. Most of all, we're kind of uh, in the fall pattern and high pressure and control in lots of places. Again, we talked about pleasant fall weather for our east coast and those scattered thunderstorms down in the south. Current surface map does show that trough of low pressure that's now from the Great Lakes region all the way back down into eastern Texas. Ahead of it, there's high pressure, very nice weather on the eastern seaboard except for folks in Florida. And then we have high pressure in several areas back out in the west. A couple of areas of low pressure bringing maybe some scattered shower activities in some areas in the south. But overall, we're actually in very good shape. You can see kind of a zonal flow of the uh, atmosphere and the jet stream bringing cooler temperatures, mainly 50s, all up and through the northern half of the country, 60s, 70s, uh, further down to the south. Windy conditions all around. Going to continue to see those as we head through the afternoon, so uh, not much going to be changing till we get toward the evening. The front gets uh, well offshore. Still have high fire danger, very dry conditions for folks down in the southeast, even for portions of the mid-Atlantic up into Virginia, looking at some uh, fire danger for you as well. Well, and as we continue on out for the third uh, top story of Friday, uh, we're looking weather-wise at temps well above average as we uh, head through the rest of the uh, end of the work week. So again, keep all that in mind, the windy conditions starting out for folks up in the northeast. And again, that's all because of this cold front that's now moved on offshore. And we are looking at uh, lots of high pressure on behind that up toward the Great Lakes region, well above average temperatures. There is one area of low pressure down in the southwest, and that's going to uh, continue to bring just a few scattered showers uh, along there and even down into Texas again we saw some showers moving through uh, the Austin area Dallas and Houston as we headed through uh, Thursday night into Friday with that cold front passing current temperatures around the nation are the coolest spots so well up into the northeast look at some uh, 37s up in Maine and up in toward New England look at your 30s the warmer spots are down to the south looking at some 70s there but again behind that cold front everything cooled off dramatically lots of 40s up around the Great Lakes region and back out to the west looking at plenty of 40s the difference in temperature from 20 24 hours ago till now, we're looking at a little bit warmer up in the west, a one degree warmer, but much cooler down in Southern California, 13 degrees lower than it was this time yesterday. So a little chillier. Three degrees above average up in the northeast, severe weather potential in the nation's midsection, north central states dealing with snow and some windy conditions heading all the way down into portions of Texas for today. Talking about the windy conditions, you can see these different lines here. These are isobars, lines of equal uh, pressure and uh, where those get closer together. That's where the windy conditions are. So we are looking at wind uh, whipping down into Texas. Also windy conditions up here as you head up toward the Great Lakes region. Uh, we're going to be seeing uh, that storm system that's here out in the west beginning to make its move as well over to uh, where the Great Lakes as we head toward the, the next day or so. In the meantime, plenty of cloud cover around the country. You can see all socked in with clouds from Texas all the way up to the uh, Canadian border. And we're looking at several areas of precipitation here as well. Uh, some of it actually in the form of snow. We'll talk about things a little bit closer as we uh, head up toward the north central states uh, heading up toward Montana. Mainly a cloudy sort of a day, but we're looking at a little bit of snowfall around Billings and Glasgow. Cold enough temperatures for you there and also down toward Grand Junction getting a little bit more uh, of the uh, steadier snowfall. But that's going to be moving a little bit out of your region over toward Denver as we head through the rest of the afternoon. Uh, otherwise, out along the west coast, Seattle, you're still getting some of that precipitation as well as folks in Portland. But a quieter day, although still a little bit cloudy uh, through portions of California.